<coughs> About four years ago, Lucy Wanjiro, a resident of Kamurugu village in Kinamba area of Naivasha sub-county, used to relieve herself in the open. Every time she relieved herself, she would be greatly on edge as she feared arousing any suspicions on what she was up to. Her daily snapping of twigs ceremoniously signified that her little secret would never see the light of day. There were some consequences meted to her for not owning a latrine as she would frequently fall ill without understanding why. Those dark days are now behind her thanks to the Kenya Sanitation and Hygiene Improvement Program which has been running since 2014 and is set to wind up in 2019. Wanjiro now has a pill latrine in her compound. Not far off is Stephen Juguna, a quarry worker in Rui. He recounts how the quarry lacked latrines and how human waste dotted the bushes within the quarry. Those days are long gone too. Four pit latrines now stand within the quarry shared by almost 30 workers. Kamurugu village falls under Biashara Ward, which has been certified as open defecation free. The Nakuru County Water, Sanitation and Hygiene Coordinator Caroline Vata says the approach taken in having villages declared ODF is a community-led total sanitation. The ravages brought about by aging greatly hamper elderly citizens' ability to use ordinary pit latrines. Squatting is a nightmare for most of them. Our office had uh, taken us through training on equity and inclusion. This is whereby you include everybody on matters sanitation. Bernard Mbogwa and Esther Wanjiro are in their 80s. Their artisan son has since designed a commode and a hardy rope fastened onto a firm plank of timber in their latrines to aid them. The developments are parts of ongoing efforts to ensure reduction of diarrheal diseases in the implementation areas of Biashara, Olkaria, Mayela, Maimahio, Hellsgate and Naivasha East.